So, EA dropped the 87 plus base Winter Wild God or Team of the Year icon picks. We're going to open up a bunch of them and hopefully get some R9s and Mia Hams. If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable ultimate team coins, check out mmoexp.com. Link in the description. Save 5% using code HABER. 86, 87, 88 rated squad. No informs required. Obviously, base, uh, sorry, team of the year, Mia Ham, team of the year 09 is the dream, but there are some really, really good team of the year icons in there. Base being in there is not ideal. Enough yapping. Here we go. Who are we getting? Ooh, I'll take Butcher. Oh, happily take Butcher, man. I have got no issue with a Butcher Gweno there. That is solid. If you guys open up the pick, let me know in the comments down below what you guys get. Leave a like on the video if you guys do enjoy, and subscribe if you're new around here, as it massively helps the channel grow. Let's go and open some more. All right, next player pick now on the Xbox. I wonder how many Team of the Year icons we will see today. I imagine they'll be very rare because I think all of the Team of the Year icons are just ridiculous. That being said, Socrates. This is a, what I feel like will be majority of these picks is going to be just full bases. But we're hoping to see some Team of the Years. All right, next up, we have got my boy Harman Deep's icon pick now. It's been a while since we had a really good high-stakes icon pick, so I'm really excited. Rival... Double... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. The last pick had Rykard and Socrates, didn't it? All right, we're going to have to work on that, EA. That's not, that's not acceptable. All right, next icon pick. Come on, EA. So far, no Team of the Year icons, but it's early doors. Sanchez is not bad, actually. Sanchez is very usable. Drogba, if that was Winter Wildcard, would have been class. Unfortunately, it was not. We are probably going to take Sanchez here. Who's not a bad card, but it's just not a team of the year, is it? All right, now we're on to Lala's account for his icon player pick. Let's see if we can get ourselves a team of the year icon. Come on, EA. Xavi, just be team of the year, bro. Just be a team of the year, Xavi. And we would have been very excited. Lala is a huge Newcastle fan. So he's actually freaking out right now about Shearer. So, I mean, fair enough. That's that's the way. That's the way to, to enjoy FIFA, I guess. All right. We have got Dan's icon player pick next. Let's see what he gets. Oh, there we go. There is Xavi. There's the team of the year that we wanted. Get in there. That is class. <coughs> Excuse me. Team of the Year Xavi, who, by the way, is a really, really underrated card in this game. How much is Team of the Year Xavi? 800k class. Our first Team of the Year came after... That was our sixth icon pick. So, a 1 in 6 ratio is not insane, but we'll take it. It's a good start. All right. We've got our next icon player pick. And by request, he wants me to, to blind open it, which I think is mental. And because of that, we'll do it on my second account as well. But first, here we go. Haji. I have no idea who's in there. Haji is definitely bad. Haji is definitely very bad. I don't know who's in there. Let's find out. All right, my boy Twan's player pick next. He's a massive PSV fan. I'm not entirely sure why that's relevant. But... Hopefully, EA give us someone good because of that. Because they drew two all today. So, maybe he wants to feel better about it, I guess. I mean, R9 played for PSV? Oh, be winter wildcard Lev Yashin, please, man. Yashin's a great goalie, but... No, that's sad, man. Winter wildcard Lev Yashin would have been class. All right, next icon player pick. Oh, we'll take it. I don't know why, for some reason... Wait, hello? There we go. Uh, right, I'm, I'm going to sound stupid. For some reason, I thought that was Cruyff. And I know Cruyff doesn't have a team of the year icon. I don't ask why. I'm an idiot, all right? But Zola's class. Zola is absolutely fantastic. We'll take that. Is that the best one so far? It's joint with Xavi, I think. It's like 800k. So we'll take that. That is solid. Keeping with today's theme, Nick is about to open the iconic halftime pack, which includes three base icons, one guaranteed to be 88 or higher, which obviously fits in with the icon theme here. So we're obviously going to watch him open it and hopefully get something decent. It would be very fitting right now to see an R9 or a Mia Hamm or a Cruyff or a Ronald Koeman. Okay, so that means that we have one chance of getting someone good here. One chance of getting... Some, unless he's got Vieira behind Koeman as like a dangler, which would be insanely lucky. Unlikely, though. Who is that? Del Piero. 
Oh, this, uh... Oh my god, that's awful. That might be one of the worst wastes of £30 I've ever seen in my entire life. Alright, my boy Robert O'Harland. I don't want to think about Harland right now. Or Amrabat, for that matter. You know what? I don't want to think about football right now. That's why I run a football game. Here we go. Hierro wins a wild card. Bit of an L, unfortunately. Um, it's always bad as well when you've got one non-owned and it stings. So that, unfortunately, is a big L. All right. Raves next up. He's got Fabinho next to the pick. Is this some kind of luck thing? Some voodoo that I don't know about? Here we go. Another L. Sadly, Miroslav Closer is not what you want to see. And he picks the fodder one, which makes a lot of sense. That is that is really, really bad. All right, we are watching Tom's on Xbox. He has this weird way of being able to zoom in. I don't know how he does it, but fair enough. Uh, so he's going to, like, zoom in when he opens it. And it's just going to, like, yeah. We'll see how this goes. It's kind of be kind of be like a little stat reveal. It'd be really cool if he zooms in and it just shows, like, the blue at the top. That'd be very cool, actually. So first one is 89-rated Luis Figo. Not ideal. Then he's got Drogba. Again, not ideal. Already owned as well, which is a bit disappointing. And then he's got, unfortunately, Shevchenko. That is a bad pick again. All right, Crass's pick next. Last year, he did get himself a Team of the Year R9. Is he about to repeat that? We're about to find out. What was the moment? What was it last year? It was some special version of R9 anyway. Ooh, Alberto! That's a W! Alberto's class, man. I use him at CB at the moment. He's fantastic. Don't know what he is value-wise. What's he, 800k as well? We can't break the 800k mark right now. That's solid, though. We'll take that. All right, on to my second account now. Of course, I, I was dared to do it blind. I never shy away from an honest challenge. Perlo. That was the best one as well. That must have been a terrible player pick if Perlo was the best icon. My boy Wizard on the Xbox. Let's see what he gets. Hopefully something decent. We're trying to break the 800k mark at the moment, EA. Please. Let's get an icon worth more than 800,000 coins. Just has to be like R9 on Mia Ham. Oh my god! That's how you get an icon worth over 800k. Rude Hullet! Big rude hullet, man. That's not even a debate. I'm a huge United and Cantona fan, but that's not even a debate. It has to be a big rude, man. Oh, my word. That is sensational. Wow. GG. He's got the Norwich boys next to him as well. GG, man. That is huge. I have no idea what hullet's worth. I'm going to Footbin to find out, though. What is, uh, what is just base rude hullet worth these days? 2.7 million. Nice. All right. It's going to be hard to beat rude hullet. 2.7 million. We've got Cridians next. We're not beating that anytime soon, are we? That is um, that's rather unfortunate. It's going to take something monumental to, to, to beat Hullet in terms of price here. It, you're going to literally need... Oh, he's got the 87 plus future stars pick as well. Here we go. Here we go. Cheeky. I don't even know. I forgot who was in future stars. That's how bad I am at this. At, yeah. Uh, Zerx is good in game. Harvey Elliott is okay. Letizia, I remember being ridiculously common. That's a pretty mid pick, unfortunately. That's a pretty mid pick. Yeah, Xerxes is probably the pick there. Hopefully the icon pick's better. Please say the icon pick's better. Muller B. Oh wait, the Thunderstrokes aren't even in the packs, obviously. Uh, base Muller is, is again, pretty average. You got a new strike force, I guess. Next icon pick! Let's get another team of the year, please, here. We've had two so far in this video. Let's get a third. Do you know what? That's actually quite a tough choice, in my opinion. Well, I, I say that completely blind. I have no idea what this guy's team looks like. I have no idea what he plays in game. But that's a tough choice just based on the optics we have in front of us. It's Cafu versus Puskas. I think Cafu's worth considerably more. I think Puskas is probably a lot more fun. Um... Puskas is worth 945k. Never mind. Puskas is actually worth way more. Wow. Yeah, Puskas. That's that's a great pick. All right, we've got Buddy's pick next. We're going to stat reveal this one. Don't ask why, but we're going to use Quavers to do it. All right? I, I know. I, just, I, I don't ask. Okay, don't ask. Here we go. All right. First one. We're going to go onto this screen. Oh, I kind of see it on the, on the right there. Okay, we have to fix that a little bit. But 
Here we go. So, in terms of... Oh, how do I do this then? Okay, there we go. Uh, 70 physical, 86 defending. Okay. 86... We know he's a base, right? 83 dribbling. Is this Cafu? No. Larm. Okay, fair enough. I need to make this a bit bigger as well. There we go. Uh, I don't mind accidentally... S s oh, it's a goalie. Cassias. Whatever. Okay, here we go. 83 physical. 88 defending. 85 dribbling. 83 passing. 56 shooting. 90 base. Is this one Cafu? That one's Cafu. I just had a feeling that Cafu was in there, mate. Oh, he's, on oh, he's already got him as well. That's really annoying, man, because that would have been class otherwise. The Quavers do not pay out today. All right, on my account, we're going to go and open up the iconic halftime pack. Just on the ba the chance we get a base, me a hammer, a base R9, basically. We got ourselves Mexico striker. I don't know what rating that is. If it's Sanchez, it's rel relatively high, I think. All right, 89. This could be all right. Zico. That's such a shame. I already have Zico. I did the SBC. I did the SBC. Mostovi in there as well. Go, cool, we get a hero. Maybe a cheeky FC fantasy card. If we do, it'll be the back. No, that's such a shame, man. That's that would have been class if I didn't already do the SBC. That's a million coin icon. That's fodder. No. All right. M2 Chap is opening up the 600k pack now. Let's see what he gets in this. He's got an inform. We've got Belgium. So oh, I don't want to see De Bruyne right now. Even though De Bruyne didn't score or assist, I just don't want to see De Bruyne right now. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I've am I'm, not got over it yet. I've been taking my mind off it with these icon picks and these packs, which has been, you know, fine so far, but I do not want to see De Bruyne right now. Hopefully, the back of this pack, there's something good. Please. Please, EA. Come on, Ramirez. Stanway. St it's not great, is it? It's not great at all. All right, next icon pick. Let's get a team of the year, please. Could have just given his team a check there. Would have been happy. Do you know what I mean? But no, they're too stingy. Hello. What we got here? Come on. Hungary. Oh, yes. Lovely. Lovely. Or ban. That is fantastic. We'll take that. Just because he's got a, you know, a funny first name. Has nothing to do with the card itself. Uh, although I think they did win. So upgrades maybe? Wouldn't be a bad card if he gets upgraded. We'll take that. Halftime elite pack. What are the odds? 98% and 15%. All right, come on, EA. Cook us up something spectacular. In, don't you dare be Haaland. Not after today. All right, thank you. Like, cook us up a cheeky Ramirez or a Yaya Torre or Lucio. Something along those lines would be phenomenal. Phenomenal. Who's that? Oh, it's Inform Kamara. Fair enough. Okay. Come on, EA, please. Please. Mamouche. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, my word. Oh, oh my word. Oh, my word. We packed Bruno Fernandes, boys. Let's... No, come on. Oh, my word. Oh, my... That is sensational. I genuinely think this is going to be the best DM on the game until Team of the Season. Maybe if he gets all four upgrades, maybe after Team of the Season as well. And there's such a great chance of him getting all four upgrades. He's on all set pieces. Arsenal are in phenomenal form. They're scoring five past people every week at the moment. Oh my word. We also got Jan Kuto, by the way, who is not one to skip over because he's also a really, really decent pull. Oh my word, man. I can't believe it. That's insane. Yes, come on. I mean, after packing rice, I have to open this on the second account, surely. We just have to, I feel like. That was crazy, man. Declan Rice, two and a half million big ones. Who's this? Al Ali. Inform Firmino, double walkout. Go on, be, be Van Dyke. Why not? I'll take a cheeky Van Dyke there. He's another Kamara. He kind of looks a bit like Allison, I feel like. Imagine a second rice. Could you imagine? Let's have a look. We get Sam Kerr. Pedro Porro. Not bad again to be... Really? He's that cheap? I'm actually really surprised at how cheap Pedro Porro is. I thought he'd be a lot more expensive than that, but fair enough. Whip pass. Got a great shot of getting upgrades. Obviously, they scored three yesterday, didn't they? So, fair enough. Um, yeah, cool. All right.